Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is conjunction control and then I will explain types of conjunction control. Guys, I have uploaded a complete computerized subject tutorials. I will provide that link in the description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, conjunction means too much data in computer network which will slow down the internet. Guys, for example, if multiple computers send data at the same time in computer network, which will cause traffic jam and slowing down the internet. So, conjunction happens when too much data is sent through a network, making network slow and causing delays. That means data will reach the receiver very slow and sometimes data packets may lost and even sometimes entire network will crash. And whereas conjunction control means managing network traffic, when there is too much data trying to pass through a network at the same time, leading to slow down the internet and sometimes packets may be lost and there is delay in communication. So, conjunction control will help the network to work properly. In simple terms, conjunction control means managing network traffic when there is too much data passing through a network. This conjunction control is divided into two types. They are open loop conjunction control and closed loop conjunction control. Retransmission policy window policy, acknowledgement policy, discarding policy and admission policy. All this belongs to open loop conjunction control and whereas back pressure, choke point, implicit and explicit signaling. All this belongs to closed loop conjunction control. So, conjunction can be controlled by using these two methods. In first I will explain what is open loop conjunction control. We also call it as prevention method. This method will prevent conjunction before it occurs. Name prevention method that means before conjunction occurs, we will try to avoid conjunction. So, this method prevents conjunction by using proper design rules. It is handled by the sender or receiver. And the first one is retransmission policy. Name itself says retransmission that means if data is lost or corrupted, sender will send that same data again. And second one is window policy. If many packets are sent at once, then conjunction will occur. Now, to overcome this problem, we can use window policy that is nothing but we need to set window size. For example, I will set window size as 3 that means only 3 packets can be set at a time. For example, if I give window size as 5, we can set only 5 packets at a time. So, which will avoid conjunction. And third one is acknowledgement policy. Yes, acknowledgement means reply message. Whenever sender send data to receiver, receiver will give reply whether data is received successfully or not. This is meaning of acknowledgement. Receiver, instead of sending replay to each and every packet, receiver will give replay at once to multiple packets, which will reduce network load. And fourth one is discarding policy. As yes, for example, if multiple computers send data at the same time in network, then conjunction will occur. Conjunction is nothing but traffic jam. So, in order to overcome this problem, if multiple computers send data at the same time, then we need to accept only important packets. And then we need to discard less important packets. So, routers will discard less important packets during conjunction in order to maintain network performance. And fifth one is admission policy. That is nothing but giving admission to only limited users. So, only limited number of users can send data at the same time in network, which will prevent conjunction. These are various kinds of techniques used in open loop conjunction control. Next, I will explain what is closed loop conjunction control. Closed loop conjunction control is nothing but handling conjunction after it happens. Guess when conjunction occurs, computers will slow down the data transmission until conjunction is cleared. This technique will make sure that data will flow smoothly in network. This closed loop conjunction control will detect and control conjunction using feedback mechanisms. These are various feedback mechanisms. And the first one is back pressure. Just for example, sender want to transfer data to receiver through multiple routers. In back pressure technique, whenever conjunction occur, the particular router will inform to previous routers. For example, if you consider router 3, many people are transferring data by using router 3 at the same time. So, in router 3, there is high traffic. That is nothing but there is conjunction. As this computer is continuously forwarding data, this router will inform to this router that conjunction occurred. And similarly, this router will inform to this router. So, sender will send data very slow. So, in back pressure, if conjunction occur to a particular router, then it will inform the previous router to slow down the data transmission. This process will continue till the source router. This is all about back pressure. 
and second one is show packet same example so whenever conjunction occur then this router will send special packet to source router so a special packet is sent by the router to source computer telling to reduce data flow so whenever this computer receive show packet this computer will now send data very slow this is all about show packet technique and third one is implicit signaling in implicit signaling we will not get reply from receiver instead source computer will indirectly identify conjunction by observing lost packets and delays so in implicit signaling routers will not give any message to computer indirectly computer will identify conjunction occurred or not by observing delays and lost packets and fourth one is explicit signaling whereas in this technique routers will directly inform to computer that conjunction occurred and this technique is used in connection oriented networks explicit signaling is classified into two types they are backward signaling and forward signaling name itself says backward signaling so whenever conjunction occurred to particular router that router will inform to source computer by asking to slow down the data transmission and whereas in forward signaling whenever conjunction occurred to particular router the router will forward alert message to destination computer by sending message that conjunction occurred 